welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a 24 hour readathon of this book, Six of Crows. I've already started this book. This is, if I am honest, the third, I think, attempt of me to try to read this book. So I have decided that because my library book is due tomorrow, that I'm going to do a 24 hour readathon because I'm tired of renting this book multiple times and not reading it. To start, I guess I should say that I already read Shadow and Bone and I really liked it. I watched the Netflix series, also really liked it. And my favorite character in the series on Netflix was Nina. I'm really excited to read this book and read her whole story. And I've heard from so many people on Book Talk that it is literally like their favorite, one of their favorite books of hers, one of their f favorite books total. So many people have told me to keep reading and to get to it, so I'm gonna do it. I've decided it's not really, I don't think it's this book's fault that I haven't read it. When I first rented this, I also had rented the Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass, and I got so absorbed in that series that I just kind of ditched this book and got the next in the series and the next in the series. And so I feel like that series was just so entertaining that I didn't even really give this book a chance. I was trying to like shove it in at the end of my two weeks of having it. And so anyway, so I tried to re, I re-rented it um, recently, but I also got the first Throne of Glass book at the same time, and I didn't think I would like that series so much. And so I thought I, I could like switch back and forth and read a little bit of this and read the other one, but I was wrong and I really enjoyed that series. And so now I'm in the middle of reading Throne of Glass. That series is so much longer than Akatar that it's taking me forever to kind of read that. So all of my extra spare time has gone to reading Throne of Glass and not to this book. So I decided what better way to cross it off my list and I'm sure I will enjoy it is to kind of force myself to do it in 24 hours. So I love a good challenge. This is, um, this is what we're gonna do. So it is Monday at about 4.30. It is due tomorrow so i'm going to drop it off tomorrow evening and hopefully we can finish it all by then that's the goal i think we can it's only like 450 pages so i think i did the math and literally i just have to read like if i read every single hour of the next 24 hours i'd have to read 18 pages an hour but i'm not gonna do that so it's more like i just need to read 30 pages an hour which i think is doable i think it'll be fine so i think we'll get there and i'm already in a little bit in the book so and I'm hoping once I get into Nina's character perspective of the story that, that, sorry, my, my puppy's right here. Can you say hello? She's wanting some pets. So anyways, but I'm thinking once I get into Nina's character that I'm really going to love it. I think they're just setting the scene for everything and I'm just kind of like trying to understand what's going on and so I'm not like in the story yet, but I'm excited. So come along with me and read with me. Also, I post a lot more stuff on TikTok than I do on YouTube, and I'm trying to make this like a book space here like I have on TikTok. And so I am going to be doing like 24 hour updates, like live updates on TikTok. So obviously you will miss it because by the time I post this video, the whole thing will be completed. It's like a lot more updates as I'm reading things over there. So if you wanna follow along over there, I will drop my handle. It's Sarah Waz, so it's not my full last name, so yeah but I'll put that in the description box in case you want to join me over there. Do a lot of book reviews and some funny videos and stuff like that. But anyways, thanks for joining my video and let's get to reading. So if you want to read a book too, if you have this book and you've been wanting to read it and you want to read it along with me, that would be super exciting. I'd love to hear in the comments how you feel about this book, if it's your favorite, if you didn't like it, all the thoughts. So. Or if you just want to read another book and we both just read together for the next 24 hours. But I'll keep you updated and show some little reading vlog. So anyways, alright, let's get to reading! Hmm? 
longer? Clearly, she's not gonna let me read for right now, so I'm gonna take a little break already and uh, start again later <laughs> because I think she's not. her books is that there's a lot of like what am I trying to say there's a lot of new vocabulary and language like to assimilate into her worlds and I feel like until I kind of like grasp everything that's in there I really struggle with all the like names and I didn't even really grasp I don't know maybe I'm just not reading it's been a little bit since I like started this book so I'm just kind of I was kind of confused but I didn't even realize that there were like gangs and that's what we were talking about. There's just a bunch of names. They're just using all these different names and I was kind of confused with what we were talking about. But I think I'm grasping what's going on. So now we're good. I think this chapter will be the turning point and then I'll be more into it, hopefully. But yeah, so it's about 9.30. I'm probably gonna read till about midnight. I'm hoping that I can get like a quarter or halfway through the book by then and then I will read in the morning and probably a little bit in the afternoon and uh, return it tomorrow evening. Yeah, so I am on page 40 out of 462. to get to page 100 or 125 if I can like swing it but man I'm liking it a lot better we're getting in there there's some good stuff happening we're about to get to some big we're like getting to like the main plot of like what's happening and what they're about to do and we're about to meet some more characters I can tell I see they're coming up really quick so I definitely want to read until we get to that part now I kind of know like what's going on, a lot of the mystery and intrigue from earlier makes a lot more sense, so I feel like I'm enjoying it a lot more, or at least I'm intrigued. I'm over here like, I want to find out what's going to happen. What are we going to do? This is kind of crazy. Let's see the stakes. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to dive in a little bit more. So 
So I think I'm going to keep reading even though I'm a little bit tired. I had some snacks to kind of like wake me up. And um, I think I'm going to try for at least like 20 or 30 more minutes and see if I can get um, close to 100 pages because then I'll be about 20% done or so out of the book. So yeah, that's my little update. But this was kind of a silly idea, I'm realizing, because I didn't anticipate having family over, which I'm totally happy they came. That was great. We had a nice dinner. It was wonderful. But when I planned to do this at like 3.30 or 3 in the afternoon and kind of like got it ready and everything, I thought I had like cleared my whole evening schedule and I didn't. So I really have only read 9 to 10, 10 to 11, I would say like I've really only read for two hours. That's just not a lot of time for a whole evening for 24 hours. So I feel like honestly... If I actually finish this book, I will have only read for like 8 to 10 hours out of the 24. So we'll see if I can do that. Because I think I looked up I would have to read a lot of pages in an hour. Because I think I did the math and if I wanted to read it for 12 hours out of the 24, it was going to be about like 36 pages, which I'm like pretty close to that. I feel like I'm reading like about 30. We might be able to get there. Maybe. We'll see. All right, I'll update you in a bit. So I'm on page 130 out of 462, so I'm at the like quarter mark. I'm gonna keep reading for a little while longer because I am really enjoying it, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And uh, yeah, my thoughts are I'm enjoying it a lot, but it's just kind of crazy because I feel like I wouldn't enjoy this quite as much as I am right now if I hadn't watched the Netflix series because I like have been anticipating certain characters and I don't know if I would have stuck with it to get to these characters if I was just reading it without any like knowledge ahead of time and also I just love the story of Nina and Matthias and I love the way it was set up in the Netflix series and so it's kind of strange to read about it here because I don't know if their story is just going to be entirely different or if they just told it in the books like very differently than they did in the movie so I'm kind of intrigued because we're kind of like it's clear they've known each other for a while in the book and they have a lot of negative feelings towards each other but it's clear that wasn't always the case now I feel like we're gonna get things in like flashbacks or whatnot um, and like find out their history that way but in the Netflix series, it was told in time order. So you just gradually kind of really liked them as characters. Whereas like with this, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm like not saying I don't like it because this could be really interesting. And obviously it's the way she wrote it. So like, it's gotta be good, but they just did it really differently in the TV show. And now I'm seeing all the like, we're getting to their whole plan with the ice court and everything. And it's very similar 
to what they ended up doing in the TV show with um, them going to the little palace. It's like seems kind of like the same setup, but they just changed it so they could integrate both stories. But anyways, it's good. I want to keep reading, which is great. Any story that wants me that I want to keep reading late at night, like I'm okay with. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. And hopefully I don't stay up too late. This is really a dumb decision doing this, but it's also kind of fun. So I'm enjoying it. And yeah, I'll just be tired tomorrow, which is fine. But anyways, I'm going to keep reading and I'll let you know how I'm doing probably in the morning. last night I read kind of late and now it is morning and I'm reading a bit more so I'm currently on page 222 so I have quite a few more hours before I have to return this book and we're about halfway through so I'm thinking we're doing okay so I'm just sitting here cuddling with the puppy this morning and reading my thoughts so far are I'm really starting to enjoy the book they are in Fjorda now I've really enjoyed getting to know the characters and like their backstories a bit more. I feel like I, I'm really liking how multi-dimensional these characters are and just kind of like hearing a lot about their past. I, I'm liking it and I'm liking how they're kind of melding in this like band of thieves or whatever they are together. This little troop of very unlikely individuals who are somehow all you know getting along and, and trying to do the same goal of um, this heist so it's very interesting I'm enjoying it I'm interested to see like what the second book will be because this is a duology so I'm really interested to see what will happen next because either they're gonna pull it off or they're not and then they're gonna have to escape in the second book so I'm not really sure but it doesn't seem there's quite a bit of book left so I feel like maybe they could totally pull it off by this I have no idea. So I'm intrigued. And I finally got to Nina and Matthias, which is what I was really excited about to read because I love them in the Netflix series. But man, they really changed up the whole thing in that Netflix series. It's kind of like nothing like these books, which is pretty crazy to me. Like I enjoyed both of them, like on their own, the Shadow and Bone series, like the books and then also the TV series, but it's kind of crazy to read this and see how much of this series, of this duology, they kind of shoved in there and altered, which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to put some of this into the next season of Shadow and Bone. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what they're gonna do. 
that's very strange i don't know but i'm enjoying the whole story and loving all, all the like heartbreaking and heart touching moments um between the characters and i feel like so many different characters are trying to hold themselves back so much and like not show their love for another character and it's kind of sad but i feel like she's doing a really great job of portraying that and i like getting different people's perspectives so much so that you know like i feel like how the guys in the story feel i feel like it's kind of funny it's like the guys are opening up so much more than the girls in this story because there was a whole scene with nina and, and matthias and he kind of like admitted that he misses her and thought of her all the time she clearly like spent her whole last year like staying in a location so that she could help him and i still don't know like the whole circumstances of her betraying him because that didn't necessarily happen in the show so i'm kind of confused about that part but i'm excited to find out what exactly she did if they go into more detail because they kind of just like glossed over it i feel like i feel like he has been revealing so much more in his thoughts and in what he said to her and she's kind of like blown it off to him so i'm hoping that they do make up one day because i really enjoy their story but yeah that's where i'm at so i'm already 200 and something pages in and hopefully I'll get to 300 in the next hour or so around that. And then I'll just have 100 and something pages to finish this evening, which will be great. I have 100 pages left, a little under 100 pages. I'm on chapter 33 and I'm loving this story. It has gotten so good. It is all it's all suspense and they're like full into the heist right now it's a little after five and so technically it's been 24 hours but i didn't i probably read for like five to ten minutes around this time yesterday or at four yesterday i think it was but i didn't really start reading until nine so i'm not counting it as the end and i always planned to read this evening until i go drop it off at the library which I think the library closes at 7, so I will do that probably at 7, or I'll drop it off after they close. I'm so close to finishing this, and I'm really enjoying it, and I just kind of can't believe that I read this in one day, or technically less than one day, and I definitely took a lot of breaks, had to do a lot of other things. So, yeah, I'm impressed with myself. We're not done yet. I will do a final update once I finish, but... We only have a little bit left, I'm so excited. My thoughts right now are, I have loved how much like um, background we've gotten on the characters. I love the flashbacks on all of them. I'm just loving it. It's very like, I'm completely entranced now. I want them to win so badly. I'm on the edge of my, se my seat. I want them to get through this heist and just all of them just get their heart's desires. But, I have a feeling that that won't happen. So I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I feel like one thing that just happened that is definitely gonna be problematic is that Nina just came into contact with the general, like Brum or Berm or something. And um, she thought he was dead on the ship that she was on a year ago with Matthias and that he drowned at sea. And clearly he didn't because she's now in, you know, a ballroom with him and has to kind of like pretend that she doesn't know him. So I feel like he's going to be a big problem and unfoil a lot of their success for this, but I'm not sure if they're gonna get this guy that they're going for, and I'm not sure if Nina and Matthias are gonna kill that guy or what's gonna happen with all that, but I'm loving their interactions. The fact that they've all just kind of like linked together and like fighting for each other and have gotten really close I am liking seeing that. It's just, everyone's blossoming right now. I feel like on this heist and I, I'm i really enjoying it. I, but I feel like they're gonna end on a cliffhanger and then I'm gonna wanna read the next one. And that was not really my plan. So, <laughs> because I have a lot of other books I'm reading right now and I wanna finish those. So this was just kind of like the goal because it's due today and I probably would not have read this if it was not due, 
back to the library today, so I'm pretty glad that it lit a fire for me to finish this book because I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like I've chatted with some people on TikTok about it who also felt similarly. Like, they're like, I know I love it, but I haven't read it yet. Like, I've started it and haven't finished. That beginning, I feel like the first, like, like 50 to 70 pages, like, was a lot of setup. And I kind of wish it was a little faster because then I would have been way more intrigued to keep going because I feel like a lot of books take like almost a hundred pages to kind of like set it up and feel like you're really getting into something and but they have to be interesting enough to keep you going those hundred pages like sprinkled with intrigue and I felt like there was only a little bit of that in this for those first hundred pages because that's how I felt with the actor the first actor book is that the first hundred pages were not like, whoa, exciting. On a reread they were, because I could see like all the little hints and clues, like, you know, breadcrumbs like left behind that foreshadowed things and different stuff. So I enjoyed that, but I feel like this is like another one where I'm like, uh, let's get going. But this one was worse, I feel like, to start off. Anyways, that's probably not a popular opinion, but that's how I feel. So I'm excited to read the next one. I gotta get to this ending and I will update you when I get there and get to the ending. So one more thing before I keep going is I don't remember if I updated on here because I'm also making like some TikTok updates. Reading this so far I knew my favorite part would be Nina and it definitely is. Not that I'm not loving the other characters actually I'm falling in love with all of them but Nina and Matthias just they are like the perfect enemies to lovers to me and I was reading through there are just so many lines I feel like for the two of them that I'm just absolutely loving. And there's a line that I just loved that Matthias said that basically said like Nina came in like a storm and he's basically been off like balance ever since he met her. And I loved that. And I also just felt like they had a truce moment where they said in another lifetime they probably would have been allies instead of enemies. So I feel like they are just the perfect enemies to lovers and that's how I want this story to end. I want that to happen. I want them to be a thing together. I want them to escape this and have some sort of happiness, but I'm not sure if that will happen, which makes me sad, but that's what I want. That's what I want out of this. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna be really heartbroken if that doesn't happen, but they're setting it up that way perfectly, I feel like. So I'm hoping that it does because it was just melting my heart. But, and I just love how they understand each other so much and have such common ground, but like from complete opposite sides of the world. Like they understand each other, they're both soldiers. It's great. So that's what I want. That's what I'm here for. And yeah. But who knows what's gonna happen. I kind of feel like somebody's not gonna make it out alive. I don't know. Or somebody's gonna get captured again. But I loved learning their backstory a bit more. And now I totally see where the Netflix series like took parts of the story and just told it differently. But it's still the same story. So yeah, that's good. But I just had to share. for my 24 hour readathon and I have just finished this book all 462 pages of it and it is shortly it's about 8 30 so it's just under the 24 hour mark I'm so impressed with myself I was not sure if this was gonna work out but it did even with not being able to read for a, a large chunk of yesterday and today I finished it so yeah, so I'm so excited. I loved this book so much more than I thought I would. I was not sure about it at all. 
especially in the beginning. I thought it was kind of, I wasn't getting into it. I felt like it was kind of a slow beginning, but I loved it. I loved it. I fell in love with these characters. I did not know I would this much. And I loved the suspense at the end. The heist was amazing. Um, it was so brilliant. I couldn't see any of those turns coming for how they solved a lot of the problems. And I really just loved getting to know all the characters and seeing, seeing how they worked together and hearing so much about their backstories. I loved the Nina and Matthias love story. Um, yeah, that was, I was, I'm really impressed by this book because definitely was like crossing my fingers during certain scenes that like they hadn't betrayed one another or that we weren't gonna lose one of them. I really thought they weren't gonna make it out, all of them. And I guess technically they haven't, but we shall see what happens in the next one. But I have a feeling that it'll all work out but there was just a lot of sacrifice and um, courage and it was great. I feel like the characters were so multi-dimensional. They were able to, I don't know, they, were, they just did a lot of growth and I really enjoyed it. And I, I like how much they talked about their purpose. Like I feel like every character walked away at the end of this book with a purpose, whether or not like most of them haven't fulfilled that purpose, but they found one and I just, it was great. I, I, I was there for it. Like this could have been the whole story and I would be satisfied. Even though I obviously like want to know what happens next, like the middle to ending of this book, like made up for the first like almost a hundred pages of being kind of like, eh. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And I, wow, I'm shocked, I'm shocked that I enjoyed this so much. I also feel like I'm on a bit of a high um, from finishing this because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish it all. And I did. So now I get to return this to the library. Um, my husband and I are going to go get ice cream. And we're going to drop this off at the library near me. And I'm very excited. So I'm not going to rent the next one right away because I'm still currently reading Throne of Glass and I want to just finish all of it because um, right now I'm on Assassin's Blade and then I have three books with me. I don't know, I gotta, I gotta finish this whole um, Throne of Glass thing before I can move on back to this because I do want to give this next book like the full attention that it deserves because now that I know how good this was, I feel like the next one, I'm hoping the next one's gonna be just as good. Um, and then I know there's another duology maybe or trilogy, I forget, but I don't know what that's about. I feel like it's like Fjord and stuff, but I'm really not sure. So I'll have to look that up once I get through this, but I'm so glad. Um, anybody who recommended this to me, especially on TikTok, like thank you so much because I was not sure. <laughs> I was like, this can't be that good. And you were right all of you so anyways if you're looking for an interesting book definitely have to get through the first couple pages and um i've been posting like hourly not hourly but um updates on tiktok this whole time about like doing my 24 hour readathon updates and people because people can comment on that it's posted before this video is um so many people said that they also struggled with the beginning of this book but then they loved it and so many people have said it's their favorite book so i'm just like oh. but this was such a joy it was just so interesting i really liked the heist i love movies like that though i felt like this is a movie so where they're doing like a bank robbery or something and you're just along for the ride but the characters were great they were smart witty funny you name it a good love story in there everyone had some dreams it was going great so i'm definitely into this but anyways but thank you so much for if you watched all the way through for my 24-hour readathon um thank you for watching and if you would like to watch more videos like this i have so many other book related videos planned that i'm really excited about um please subscribe and like this video so that i can put out more content like this more book content and also some writing content and just like some 
house lifestyle homemaking whatever you want to call it life content but anyways thank you for watching this video this was so much fun i'm definitely gonna do another one of these soon and if you have any like book suggestions that i should do either a reading vlog or a 24-hour readathon with please comment below all right i hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching my video bye